What is going on? Thank you for tuning in. In this video, we're answering, answering the question, is Griselda any good? So Griselda is the record label, uh, co collective, whatever you want to call it, with Conway the Machine, Benny the Butcher, West Side Gun, Boldy James, and there's more, but those are the, are the artists I'll be touching on in this video, the major artists on there, the biggest artists on that label. Now, I've heard a good amount of music from all of these guys. I listened to Boldy James actually for the first time today. He also has been featured on a million West Side Gun songs. So I've heard his features on there. Um, I've heard at least three or four West Side Gun albums. Um, I listened to the A side and I just finished like 10 minutes ago the B side for his album from this year. I heard, I think, two albums from last year, at least two albums from last year. And then I've heard at, at least two at least two albums from Conway the Machine from this year and last year and then um, I think three albums from Benny the Butcher some shorter some longer I've heard at least three from him so a good amount from each of these artists and we're answering the question is Griselda any good now at first this th this was going to be a video titled um, the artist that, that has has grown on me or something like that and it was going to be Benny the Butcher because I listened to Benny the Butcher's little EP project mixtape that came out back in August, I think. Pyrex Picasso, I think it's called. Um, I listened, to, I listened to that first today, to that, and then Boldy James's album that came out this year with the with the Alchemist um, called Bo Jackson, and then I listened to the B side of West Side Gun, Guns album. I heard the A side a um, month or two back, um, but. That was the first album I heard, and then I listened to Boldy James and West Side Gun, so I figured I would just make a video on all these guys, um, Griselda. Griselda as a whole, these four guys has or have really grown on me. They've, they've really grown on me a lot. Um, when I first heard, I think West Side Gun was the first artist I've heard, I, I heard out of out of all these guys. When I first heard West Side Gun on his couple albums that I, I heard from last year, both released in 2020, I wasn't too impressed. There was a lot of features, and that's kind of really just what West Side Gun does on these projects. Um, a lot of features um, on the on the A side of his album from this year. Um, he wasn't even on a lot, of, or he wasn't even on a lot of the songs for. Well, he was on each of them, but not for not a lot of, of the length um, on each song. Um, so it was. It's some of some some of his albums are are almost collaboration projects, but. That's I guess that that's what he does. Um, Boldy James didn't have as many features on his album this year that I I, I finished today. Um, but West Side Gun, when I first heard him, um, wasn't too impressed. Um, it was decent. Um, nothing I came back to though. It was okay, and I I do like West Side Gun's voice. I've liked his voice from the start. Uh, I think I think it's, I think it sounds good. Um, I don't mind his voice. I don't mind I don't mind his style either. Um, now after hearing. A side and B side of his album from this year. Um, West Side Gun has definitely grown on me. Right now, featuring I think Stove God Cooks and Jada Kiss off of his album this year. I do like um, I, I, a lot actually. Um, right now, it's actually a very, very good song. A relaxing, chill kind of vibe. It's about four minutes long. I think Stove God Cooks and Jada Kiss had good features on there. And just overall, West Side Gun's voice, the production, the overall sound flow of the song came together pretty nicely on that one. Um, that, and, and there's a couple more I'm, def I'm definitely going to come back to on the B-side of his album. Uh, besides that, there's not many songs I've come back to for West Side Gun or really any of these artists. Um, but I will get more in-depth into the other artists in the video. But right now, and then a couple more, I think Big Al, and then one or two more off of the B-side um, I'm going to come back to for sure. Um, but I just finished the entire thing one listen through. Going to come back to, to some of them. For sure, and then right now I, I've come back to a lot since I finished the A side of the or the, the A side of his album from this year, a month or so back. Uh, West Side Gun has definitely grown on me. Boldy James. Now I've only heard only heard the one album with the Alchemist, um, Bo Jackson, that came out this year. There's two songs I do like on there. The first one is it's kind of in the same or both are kind of in the same. Um, you know, sound as um, right now by West Side Gun, kind of a chill, laid back sound vibe. Um, Diamond Dallas is one of the songs, and then Brick Mile to Montana, the two songs I'm going to come back to. I've 
only heard them once, but I did like both of them. Not a whole lot, but I did like both of them. Uh, I'm going to come back to both of them um, for sure. Probably a pretty good amount. Um, probably, you know, starting, you know, later on. Uh, I'll, I'll probably c come back to, to both of the songs. Maybe, maybe even give the album one more listen. Um, Conway the Machine, moving on to him. Conway the Machine. Now, there's not a single song I, I can point out from Conway the Machine that I do like. Um or that I've come back to a whole lot. Conway's decent. He's definitely a good rapper and has good lyrics. Um, and I can definitely acknowledge that he's a good rapper. He's maybe grown on me a little bit. Not as much as West Side Gun, but he's definitely grown on me a little bit. Would not mind a new project from him somewhat soon, but he's definitely grown on me a, a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, I did like his feature on one of the songs. I, do, I don't remember what song it was, but one of the songs on Russ's Chomp EP Last year, I did like his feature on there. It was very good, fit perfectly into the song. Very good feature, good lyrics and all. Um, but besides that feature, nothing really sticks out from Conway the Machine for me. Um, and then the last artist, um, we, we touched on touched on West Side Gun, Boldy James, and Conway the Machine, the last one. Benny the Butcher. The last one is Benny the Butcher. I was forgetting who it was for a second. Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher as well as West Side Gun have both grown on me a pretty good amount. Benny the Butcher and West Side Gun both definitely have grown on me a lot from first listen. Still not artist I, I, would, I, would, I would consider myself a fan of or you know not even really close to a fan of but definitely their, their albums are more bearable now and it's definitely grown on me and, and it, it, their sounds I really don't mind at all. The seven track project Pyrex Picasso, I think it's called, from Benny the Butcher, I listened to today. It was not bad at all. It was actually pretty good. I'm definitely going to come back to it. De definitely a pretty good little mini project. Um, sound on there was better than I've heard from him, in my opinion. Better sound, in my opinion. Uh, more what I like. The flows on there were better. And just overall sound, I, I did like better from Benny the Butcher on there. I did hear his other album with... Um, I, I don't remember the, the producer, but um, the plugs I met too. And then his album, Burden of Proof, last year. Um, and I think one more project, an eight-track project he released earlier this year. I, I heard that one as well. So four projects I've heard from Benny the Butcher. He's definitely grown on me. I didn't love the plugs I met too. It was decent. Haven't come back to it a whole lot. Um, but it was it was a decent album. The plugs I met too, I think, was definitely better than that album. And the other eight-track project, I don't remember the name of it, was okay. Didn't feel like there was a whole lot of effort on there. I, I think there was a lot of features. Um, kind of just flew over my head really wasn't anything that, that really stood out to me But he's definitely grown on me and the, the the newer project from a couple months ago back in I think August the seven track EP Pyrex Picasso is pretty good. I do like that I was gonna make a video on just that project, but didn't end up doing it um, But that is pretty good. I do like that one um, that little project um, Almost made a video on it, um, but I do like it. Definitely going to come back to it. Energy and overall sound and flows features were all pretty good on that project. Um, so is, Gris is Griselda any good? Well, before I answer the question, I want to d d talk about one thing. The one, I don't want to say problem, but problem I have with Griselda. Um, personally, I can't relate to any of the music because, or most of it, because I, I didn't grow up in the street. I've said, I've said it a million times before with other artists like Lil Durk and Moneybag Yo, other guys that, that talk a lot about street life and hustling uh, on the streets and all that. I can't relate, I can't relate at all. I'm from a suburban neighborhood, so I can't I can't relate to any any of that stuff. So, you know, the relatability to the, the, the lyrics is not really there ever. So, you know, I've gotta, you know, other things, flows, sound have to, have to really I have, to really, I have to really like like them on the, on the track on the albums for me to get into them because the lyrics I don't usually you know relate to or can't really get into a whole lot so that is my one I don't want to say issue but issue with um, um, Griselda not that they should change that because that's that's fine but that's just me personally I, I can't relate to any of the lyrics or any of the subject matter on their songs or albums um, is, is Griselda any good? Answering that question now, is Griselda any good? Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I think they're good for what they're for, for sure. Definitely good for what they're for. Not bad rappers at all. They're pretty good rappers, uh, I must say. They, they all, all the time, they're always, especially Conway the Machine and Benny the Butcher, they're always bragging about. They're not like these 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 new um, 
new school guys. They have lyrics. They're they're better than everybody else. Um, I think they're 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 good rappers for sure. Definitely good rappers. Style and subject matter aren't always and sound aren't always my favorite. Um, there's a few songs here and there, not too often, but here and there a few songs that I do get into from some of these artists. Um, Definitely looking forward to hearing more from all of them. Not a whole lot, but I'm not opposed to a project a project from any of these guys anytime soon. Um, is Griselda any good? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. Definitely a, a good co collective, good group, good record label, and some good artists as well. Not amazing in my opinion. Not great, but definitely can pass as good. So is Griselda any good? I'm gonna say yes. Thank you for watching. Drop down in the comment section what you think of Conway the Machine, West Side Gun. Um, Ben the Butcher and Boldy James and the other guys on um, Griselda. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Check the channel out. I post daily, well, almost daily, hip hop content, hip hop content reviews, reactions, discussion videos, different content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.